Hey everyone and welcome back to another Dropified video training tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can take variant mapping one step further with advanced variant mapping. Now before in a different video I showed you how you can use variant mapping to make sure that the different variants in the product listings from AliExpress and other one-click supported stores match up with your variants that you offer in your store so that way when a customer places an order they get the exact color, size, whatever they want. But in this video, I'm going to take that one step further and show you how you can edit the different suppliers that your products ship from, how to set up different shipping methods for different countries that your customers are ordering from, and a few different other things with advanced variant mapping. So let's get started. Once we go to Dropified, what we need to do is we need to log in and go over to our saved products. So I'm going to go to the biggest easy. And here we have a pen right here. So right now I'm going to show you an extra step that you don't have to do, but this is going to show you a little bit more of what you can do with advanced mapping. So I'm just going to show it because I think it's effective, and that is adding a different supplier. So I'm going to go over to the top. You've got a bunch of tabs right here. I'm going to go to connections. So I'm going to press the button at the bottom that says add supplier. And so here you can see we have our first one which is our original supplier, and now we can add a second. So when I copy and paste this link into here, it's going to scrape all of the information from the supplier, and then we just press save. So as you can see, we've got two different suppliers, one the Literary Gift Store and the Kauai School Supply Store. So what I'm going to do now is go to Variance Mapping, and then in a different video I showed you how variant mapping works, how they can match up to make sure you're getting the right things, but we're going to go again one step further with advanced mapping. So we're going to go right here to advanced mapping, and then you can decide which supplier your products come from. You can choose the default, you can choose all of the above, or what you can do is you can set individual supplier shipping. So if I want to do this, we've got two of the variants shipping from one place and different variants shipping from another. Now this is useful if one of your suppliers runs out of stock and you wanna make sure that when customers order they're still getting supplies shipped, there's no delay. This is the perfect thing you can do to make sure you don't miss a beat when orders are coming in. So what do you do if you wanna offer different shipping methods from customers in different countries? So you can go over to the shipping methods right here and then you can add different criteria for different shipping. So for instance, if I'm ordering from the United States, what I can do is I can set a different shipping method from the United States. So I'm gonna go with the cheapest one, but you don't have to. So now every time somebody orders something from the United States, you can go and get this shipped from Kanayo Super Economy. But what if somebody orders from the United Kingdom? Well, you can set the same thing, or you can do something else by shipping ePacket, which might be a little bit faster. It is also a little bit more expensive, so we can do that. So as you go through and start choosing different shipping methods, you're going to make sure that your customers are getting exactly the shipping they need and the shipping they want, or sometimes in this case, like if you're shipping to Antarctica, it's the only option. And then if you want to make sure this applies to all of the, your different products and different variants, you can just press apply shipping methods for all variants of this supplier. So again, this is only going to go for the literary gift store supplier, and we're going to do something different for Kawhi School Supply Store. So once we press save, you'll see that these two from this supplier have all connected with the shipping this way. So we can do the same thing with the other supplier. So, Canada, we can do that, we can ship from, we can ship there, we can ship to the American Samoa for that, and so we'll do the same thing again where we apply the shipping methods for all the variants if we want to do that, but for this instance I'm just going to save to this one. So this way that no matter where someone orders from, you can get different prices 
for shipping based off of what your customers need and how far the product is traveling. And that's going to be really helpful because that's going to be more specific in the billing and the shipping side of things. But that's pretty much going to do it for this video on advanced mapping. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to press subscribe and then hit the bell icon to make sure you never miss one of our videos. If you like this video and found it helpful, be sure to leave a like. And if you have any comments or requests for videos that we can do in the future, be sure to leave it in a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching again and have a great rest of your night.